closely with Iwi. Um, through COVID, as you know, everything came to a standstill and it gave it uh, time to breathe and think about what, what was needed and for those conversations to happen across uh, the whole district. It's really difficult, it's such a huge region. So there's lots of listening and finding out where we can support each other. And one of the things that came out was um, the restoration projects and the motori catchment, the motuweka catchment and the Waimea catchment. Uh, I thought, wow, I'm wasting money travelling all the way over this way and this way. How can I make this uh, you know, more sustainable? So I went and uh, worked at a place called Motuweka Technology Centre and that delivers education to 500 students from 14 schools across the district. And we worked in with Landcare, Tasman District Council, Te Whina Marae, um, Tasman Environmental Trust to co-fund starting a nursery. In fact, they gave us the money, which was great. So we set up a, a nursery where we eco-source the seeds. The students from each school collect the seeds with experts from our representatives of Iwi and Council and Dock and then they propagate the plants and then link to the awa, linking to their schools where it's closer <laughs> to the maunga or um, to, from the right following the awas to the sea. So it's um, really cool. It's jumped, this is an old video. <laughs> we got some funding from Rata as well. And now, uh, today we uh, have expanded to 9,000 native seedlings, which the students follow the seed uh, from the source and plant it out where it's needed, working beside experts. And they also get paid for those trees. So the profit goes back into research for any technology needed to enhance any helping, any ideas from youth to go into those catchment groups. Um, one of these ones are going towards the Moosley catchment group. Uh, their dream is to have um, 400 wetlands, and it's happening, it's really, really awesome. So here's a really short video, it's a bit old, but it's okay. <laughs> Two minutes. Two minutes. Maytek was set up to provide technology education to 14 schools across the Tasman district because our primary schools in the Tasman district go up to year eight. We have no intermediate schools here, so we needed a technology centre and we provide sustainable technology to meet uh, the world's demands today. We make connections with businesses, with the community groups and the environment, and we look at the latest technology that we can deliver to our students to help enhance the sustainable technology in the community and the environment. The Native Nursery and Seed Bank has been established because of wanting to make a connection to community organisations like Tasman Bay Guardians and have the students have an opportunity to work with nature, work with sustainability and technology and work with experts. So the Tasman Bay Guardians has been working with uh, MOTEC to uh, deliver the Nurture Nature program. That's a program that connects children to the natural environment. Through the program, the children who come in here have been learning about natural plant ecology and are well on their way to having four and a half thousand plants ready to support our local restoration projects here. The Rada Foundation uh, supports the Tasman Bay Guardians to deliver the Nurture Nature program in partnership with the uh, people here on the team. Hoping to open the students' eyes to what's out there, what's needed for our environment and technology, and to make it sustainable. What they develop here isn't just in a classroom, it's part of what we need to have a sustainable future. So we couldn't have done so that without foundation. The nursery we have here is now a hub for Motueka that brings all 14 schools across the Tasman district together. It connects to our Aorts and to the Moana for restoration projects. We didn't have the money to do it. Rata has helped establish that and establish that eco source seed bank so that we can go out and source the seeds on grow the plants and take them out into the community to help with the restoration projects. And if you have any questions, we've got Scott <laughs> over here and the Lisa. Where's the Lisa here? So that's just one of the areas. Perfect timing, <laughs>